Welcome to Postscript from Faithbridge Church. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the message by sitting down with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Louie and Riley, Grow Group Director, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, who just brought to us part three of Wisdom for Life. Today we talked about meaning and purpose, mm -hmm. which um, is a great thing to talk about on Missions Sunday as well. Sure. Um, as we look at this um, call that we have um, to serve others and to make Christ known throughout the world, um, you gave us many great practical ways that we can get involved and that we can serve um, and uh, things that we can do to answer that. but. Talk to me a little bit about how, just on a daily basis, you live out that mission in your life and how we can do that as well. Okay. Well, I think it begins, uh, like all things related to God, in the heart. Not so much in activity first, but our heart has to be surrendered so that the actions that flow from the heart are truly representative of uh, surrender to God and not to something else, ego or whatever the case may be. So it, it begins with that posture through prayer and through seeking hard after God. Uh, and then sort of like in concentric circles moving out, it, it starts where you are, uh, the, the people that you live with for one thing. Uh, are you a servant in your home to your spouse if you have one, to your kids if you have kids? Moving out from there, uh, perhaps the people that you share I-45 with are 290. Um, would they describe your driving habits as being that of a servant or a tyrant? Uh, when you get to work, uh, what is your attitude toward those, those people? Uh, and then, of course, beyond the immediate sort of opportunities, there are the sorts of things that FaithBridge provides. Uh, locally, we've got our Bridging for Tomorrow nonprofit that is serving the underprivileged down below the Beltway. Lots of uh, trips overseas to help continue cultivating that uh, servant mindset and the opportunity to uh, continue to surrender oneself to God's purposes. I suppose if there were uh, an overarching principle to all of it, though, it, it boils down to a matter of desire. Is this what you really want in life? Because if it's not, it'll show. Uh, we, we tend to do the things that we really want to do. And if being self-centered is what we first of all want, that's going to come through loud and clear. But if our primary desire in life is to serve and to please God, that's going to that's going to become clear as well. Yeah. well. I continue to pray that we see the need of yeah. those around us and those opportunities. Um, so um, the series continues next week mm -hmm. and um, we'll be continuing to another area of wisdom. Right. You want to give us a little insight into the next wisdom that we are going to talk about? Sure. We're going to talk about uh, what the scriptures have to say about stuff. Uh, we live in a country where there is lots and lots of stuff and uh, many of us own a good bit of that stuff. For good or for ill, it can impact our walk with God and our overall experience of life. And so we want to consider what, what does the Bible have to say about our attitude towards stuff, what we do with our stuff, and uh, ultimately how that stuff shapes the sort of person that we're becoming. Great. I'll look forward to hearing it. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org forward slash postscript.